Hi, my name is Joanne Gomez. I live in a small town in upstate New York called Greenwich. Greenwich is three hours north of New York City and three hours south of the Canadian border. Our village has a population of 1,955 people. Our community has a lot of farmland and open fields. Greenwich has one stoplight. Hi, my name is Natalie Lisa Smith. I live in Sydney, British Columbia. I'm a girl. I have light brown hair and blue eyes. I'm 11 years old. I like to swim, bike ride, and play grass hockey. I'm a nature lover, and I live on the wharf. The idea that the computer is going to dial the call, get you online, and get right into other schools is uh, pretty far out for a lot of these kids. It's pretty far out for me, as a matter of fact. I think it's been an extremely successful project. My kids have learned a lot. They feel good about what they learned. The enthusiasm remains high, which is always nice to see in the classroom. And I like to wake up every morning and, and think what magic is going to happen today. And for me, that's the computer room. And we're saying, um, let's open those classroom doors as wide as possible and see what's going on in the world outside. During the first six months of this year, middle and secondary school students across North America have been participating in an innovative and far-reaching classroom messaging trial. Here's how classroom messaging works. Teachers or students develop projects that can be taught and communicated via computer. Those projects are listed with participating schools on an electronic bulletin board. Teachers or students then contact the originator of the courses they want to share a class with and all of the data is transmitted over AT&T's high-quality long-distance network. Computers add a new dimension to education by using communication to overcome geographic boundaries and eliminate stereotypes. The teachers and students participating in the trial from the Saanich School District in British Columbia are excited about a class that exposes them to new people, places, and ideas. We become very provincial or very isolated and uh, we think well just what affects us and I think if we can think beyond those walls it's a step in the right direction. Students I believe and teachers too are excited about the idea of, uh, of finding out what others think of the things they're discussing. I thought it was really neat that I'd be communicating with someone in the United States. <laughs> Sanich's messaging partner in Greenwich, New York is equally excited about sharing a class with students from another school especially when that school is thousands of miles away in British Columbia. Being introduced to the concept of communicating 3,000 miles away to someone else was such an exciting concept, and the idea that they could actually do something hands-on in conjunction with that concept was real exciting for them. It was exciting because to communicate with people across the United States is it's really big news. I think it's really neat to communicate with a different country, too. We thought that they would, like, talk French or Japanese. What do teachers think of this new expanded classroom? Messaging or two-way communication and interaction um, literally widens horizons. It just gives a, a different perspective. To me, it would enhance development to be able to see uh, very quickly that there are other people that think similarly and differently. And why? That has to be uh, educational and or developing. That whole idea that there's a lot of things going on in this, this one continent, and eventually if they uh, hook it up around the world, to see what's going on in other countries as well, well, it'll be fascinating for them. AT&T has brought its experience in computer messaging from the business world into the classroom. This experience has taught both students and teachers that it's just as easy to communicate with a computer as it is to make a phone call. I remember, I think in about grade six, uh, admitting to myself that I would never understand how the telephone system worked. All I know is that it works and I know how to dial and it, it, it works. And the same thing is happening with me and the computer. I don't understand it in the slightest, but the fact is uh, I can log in and uh, transmit, and it works. We have to reach a phase where it's an institutionalized tool, something that one picks up and uses just as naturally as chalk. Classroom messaging expands almost any subject. Classes like social studies, economics, special education, English or science 
can broaden their perspectives by exchanging ideas with students in a different city or town. One of the things that's uh, going to be interesting, I'm sure, is um, the difference between our measurement systems. In, uh, in the States, of course, everything is uh, imperial, I guess. Uh, feet and inches and um, inches of mercury for barometric pressure, and we're working in kilopascals and uh, degrees Celsius and meters and kilometers per hour. And uh, I think just that uh, little exchange that people are using something a little different will be very good for both of us. It seems to me one has to make learning personal for people, particularly teenagers. If you can somehow attach it to a personality, they're interested. And uh, for example, studying geography that way, if they happen to know a person on the San Andreas Fault in California, and if there was a quake, they would identify with that. I'm sure they would assimilate that information much more rapidly, much more intensely than they would if it was something in a paper somewhere, no doubt. Some problems that concern us are water pollution, stray dogs in our town, and farmers going bankrupt. I hope that you have enjoyed my class's message, and we look forward to hearing about you and your community. It may not be as easy to leave an apple on your teacher's desk when they're 3,000 miles away, but with classroom messaging, AT&T makes it easy to bring a new and exciting dimension to education. Um, I, would, I think it would be really nice um, that all the other kids and all the other classrooms in the world would be able to have a computer like this so they can communicate with other people and see how the other world is like.